Dan. There's a beautiful anvil cloud forming about two miles east of here. a storm moving southeast. Bizarre patterns, really picking up intensity. Possible twisters. I'm on concession 18, about three miles from the interstate. Yeah, okay, I got you pinpointed, Bob. And I'm following the system here. Stan, we've got a twister. It's forming not a mile from here, heading south. Well, don't get too close. You're right, man, this is bizarre. As unpredictable as they've seen. Folks, in a minute. And while I have your attention, let me remind you. Hey, about you. don't understand. The bank could turn me down, Phil. I know, Jack, and I'm sorry, but they figured. They figured. 
You work for the bank too, right? This was out of my hands. Larry Franklin. Larry Franklin. La Larry Franklin and I played in the backfield together at the University of Nebraska. Now, how could he turn me down? That's not what it's about, Jack. It's about hard, cold business considerations. If I don't get this loan, Phil, I could lose my business. Jack, the place has been in the red for years. Well, things change, Phil. Hey, come, come on, I can bring it back. I, I got the great new promotional stuff. Jack, your business hasn't been the same since the Big Eight opened at the mall. As your banker, as your friend, I'm asking you to cut your losses and get on with life. I'll think of something, Phil. I got to go, Jack. They've asked me to put pancakes. I really don't want to hear that. Well, Jim, we've just had a tornado report from the Nebraska Meteorological Center. It touched down 100 miles north of here. No injuries reported, but a house was destroyed. We'll keep you updated as we hear more. But, uh, Jim, take an umbrella with you tomorrow. Donated by Wrigley's Chain and Sprocket. Heather? Heather, come on up here. Can well, you Heather, come bowling later? No, I can't. Up I gotta here. work tonight. Congratulations. Uh, I, I always feel uncomfortable showing up on my own. Oh, you do not. Besides, I just can't do style anyway. Duh? Yo, Mad Dog. Hey. What happened? Yes, yeah, fine. Crashed and burned. Oh, it's too bad I figured you were good for at least 50th place. <sighs> at least I competed. Well, bikes aren't my thing. What is your thing? Ice cream. Wanna lick? <sighs> no. What I want is to find a hole to crawl into. Come on, Dan, stop being so hard on yourself. Guys like you and me are gonna conquer the world with our awesome minds, not our stupid bikes. Ah. Hot chocolate, Dan? Um, no thanks, Grandma. I'll take it. Come on, there's no reason for that long face. You did the best you could, right? Right, Grandma. Okay, give me that. <laughs> Have some hot chocolate and cheer up. Or I will give you such a smack on your head. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good boy. Mmm. <laughs> Well, well, Jenny, how you been? As if you care. I've been traveling. Yeah, you've been traveling over to Jennifer Stewart's house is where you've been traveling. Who told you that? Harry. It's a small town. You can pick up news by osmosis. Uh, there's Dan, I can see him. We better get going. See him again, Harry? Ooh. Jerk. They're all jerks. <laughs> Well, they can't all be accidents. Maybe you like jerks. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> Guess that makes me a jerk, too. Oh, you'll get a nice guy one of these days. Won't she? Won't she, Ryan? Beginning to think it'll take a miracle. Oh, nice timing, tiger. Diaper change. You go on ahead. Dan looks like he needs some support. Tell him I'll be right there. Yeah, sure. Hey, good race, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Hey, tiger. Hey, Aunt Jenny. Hi, Arthur. Jenny. <laughs> what happened? He crashed and burned. Hey, I can speak for myself, thanks. 
crash and burn. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get hurt. Guess I'll just have to find a new sport. Well, the only sport you haven't failed at is yo-yo. Shut up. Hey, Danny! Saw you walking your bike. Yeah, well, I fell off. I should have got right back on, kept riding, right? Why? I mean, I was completely out of it. Because, Dan, it's important to finish the things you start. It's just a dumb bike race. No, no, no. It's, it's not about what it is. It's about who you are. Look, I'm not an athlete, all right? Now, now we know that for sure, okay? Danny, look, talent is God-given, but commitment, that's something you have to give yourself. Look, I, I hate to see you quit something that you haven't finished. You know what? I hate it when you do this. What? This, what you're doing right now. Well, I hate all I'm you doing do it. right now is I am telling you what I know is true. You need to get on that bike and you need to finish this race. Look at the bike. The, the wheel is completely out of whack. I don't, I don't care if you have to drag the bike across the finish line. Now you get on it and you finish the race that you started. No. No, I'm not going to do it. You do it, Dan. You do it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, hey, there's my little quarterback. Hi. All right now, and the winner of the new Azuro Gardine and deluxe accessory package. So, okay. Well, folks, if your name was on one of those, all I can say is better luck next year. Okay, the winner is... Daniel Hatch. Dan, where are you? Hey! Huh? Way to go! Well done, well done. There Thank you go. You. Take her, take her before she blows weight. There you go. Thanks. Give him a big hand, folks. Uh, look, I've got to go uh, pick up a new fuel pump for the truck, all right? There you go. Mommy's right here. Are you going to be home in time to take me to work? Uh, Jenny, could you take her? No problem. What do you think? That's a beauty. Oh, beauty. Really nice. Beautiful. <laughs> um, is it right if I go get a soda? Sure, honey, go ahead. Go somewhere. Well, now, now, wait a minute. Now, you remember? You have to be at your grandmother's in one hour to walk the dog. Yeah. One hour. She's not feeling too All right, okay, okay. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> have fun. See you later. I'm telling you, it's anti-cyclonic. It's heading south, not north. It can't be not in this hemisphere. I know what I saw. It's a rogue weather pattern. I know it's the wrong season. I know it's too cold. And I know it just happened. Don't you think it's a little weird we're still doing things like this? Come on, it'll be fun. It's not fun. It's stupid is what it is. What's the matter with you? It's not stupid. See that cumulus over Avena? Huh? It's big fluffy clouds. They're called cumulus. It means Dan is a doorknob in Latin. Oh, funny. I can't believe I won this bike. It's a great bike. Oh, it's an awesome bike. I just, I've never won anything before. It's what my grandpa would call a red letter day. You know when big time stuff happens you aren't expecting? Yeah, but then there'd have to be black ladder days. You mean like bad news days? Yeah, like you knew in advance that you were gonna fall off your bike and completely break your face or something. Did you wanna know? Good stuff or the bad stuff? Either one. I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, just because you know something's gonna happen doesn't mean you can prevent it from happening, you know? Serious weather. Right, stay home. You know, one thing I might want to know in advance is uh, is when I'm going to see my first naked girl. Why? 
So you can prepare yourself to faint? Oh, very funny. You'll probably have to be hospitalized. Oh, yeah? I can see it now. Hey there, Mad Dog. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. I hope I'm not interrupting anything too macho. No, no, we were just, um, uh, testing the ground. Yeah, nice and soft. Hmm. So, uh, did Mom and Dad leave yet? Yeah, big romantic weekend out on the lake. Well, who's looking after you guys? I'm in charge. What could happen? Well, you could get sick eating too much pizza and destroy the living room carpet. <laughs> Just because you're a health freak doesn't mean I can't enjoy a little pizza now and then. Don't be so defensive, Lardo. It's a nice bike, Dan. Thanks. Come on, we better get home before it starts raining. Uh, Stacy. Um, I can, uh, I can ride you double if you want. Uh, no thanks. I don't ride double. Come on, Stacy, let's go. Um, you know, I would ride double with you, Dan. If you ever got Harley. I love Harleys. Vroom. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Aren't we a little old for this kind of stuff? <laughs> She's a pain, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not completely nuts for her. Come on. Let's get a pizza. You've just come face to face with the devil. Now you're probably in shock and you just don't know it. Hey, Bob, I'm going to fax you some new data. Stand by. You want to eat my house tonight? What are you having? Caviar and champagne. How should I know? Yeah, it'll be better than whatever Stacy's cooking. I forgot to walk Grandma's dog. Oh, no. I'll see you back at your place. Hell, we're predicting snow where you are. Now, what is going on here? These instruments don't lie. Yeah. And neither do I. I'm gonna document this. Well, then head upstate. Uh, no, downstate. I'm going to Blainsworth stand. Downstate, Bob. This activity is moving northeast. I'll call you and let you know what I've got. Over now. Sit down, girl. Sit. Good girl. Your grandma called me when you didn't show up. Sorry. Peg's got a hurt foot. I gotta take her to the vet anyway. I just don't understand what's going on with you, Danny. What's up? Why don't you go on home? I'll meet you there later. Smarten up, Dan. I can still remember when another young man used to help me out around here. <laughs> that was a million years ago, wasn't it, Mom? Just the same. You treated responsibility like it was a plague. You did. <laughs> okay. Point well taken, Mom. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. oh. You all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. Come Just on. My old rheumatism acted yeah, up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Weather's changing, huh? Oh, it sure is. I haven't felt these pains like this for a long time. Long, 
long time. Hey, Mad Dog. Hey, what's up? He's a pretty cute kid, huh? Yeah, he's cute, but, um, you ever changed a diaper before? No, not my thing. You, on the other hand, look like you were born to change dirty diapers. Thanks. So what are we having? Oh, well, Mom cooked pot roast. Pot roast. Yeah. Come on, help me put Daddy's little quarterback to bed. Ah, there we are. Come on, grab the carriage. Get the door. All right. It's bad. You want to go to bed? Huh? You're not sleepy. Come on. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, cool. Gosh, he's a cute kid, isn't he? Yeah, I told you. Well, let's go downstairs and let this cute kid get to sleep. Come on, stop playing. Good night. So this is your latest, huh? Yeah. It's no big deal. No, it's really cool. It's like two guys fishing, and one of them's a midget, right? One of them's a kid. Right. I see it. I gave it to my dad for Father's Day. Oh, yeah? Must have been pretty stoked. No, actually, he doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like wood carvings. You staying for dinner, Arthur? Yes, ma'am. Well, that is if it's okay with you. It's fine. You can help Danny babysit. Again? Just until your dad gets home. But uh, I was just gonna go out. I... Honey, I have to work. You know that. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. Fresh pie for dessert. You don't have whipped cream, do you? Arthur, would I offer you pie without whipped cream? You know all my vices, Mrs. Hatch. Okay, that'll be Danny. I gotta go. Ryan's asleep, so he won't be any trouble. Your dad'll be home soon, I promise. I'll make sure Dan does all the dishes and stuff. Thank you, Arthur. Mom? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Was Dad pretty disappointed about, about the race today? Dad'll be disappointed until the day you win the Heisman Trophy. He loves you very much, Dan. I know, it's just... Sometimes I think that I should be... He loves you. Nothing else matters. Thanks, Mom. Hi. Hey, how you doing? You're early. Yeah, ready to go? Oof. Okay. What's the matter? Sometimes it does this, it stalls. It'll start in a sec. What's with you? Nothing. Jack's so hard on Dan sometimes, you know? Jack's hard on everybody, especially himself. He cares so much about the man that Dan's gonna turn into. He forgets. He's not there yet, you know? He's still a boy. I think Dan needs to feel like he's a pal as well as a father figure, you know? Do you know how lucky you are? I swear what I wouldn't give to have your problems. Mm -hmm. You've got a great family, a husband who mm -hmm. adores you, mm -hmm. a couple of terrific kids. Be happy. You just wait. It's not all a bed of roses. Oh, Believe okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Have you ever wished it was just you and your parents, not your sisters? Who would I annoy? You? Ryan's an okay kid. It's just... It's just hard to have a brother that's completely adored, you know? Oh, maybe they were trying to make up for their first mistake. <laughs> Dan, it was just a joke. Why don't you put the thing down and help me dry? Huh? What's this for, anyway? It's a bull roar. The Native Americans used it to make rain. And... It works ah. better. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, man. Way to go, Spazzo. My dad's gonna go completely postal. Dan? What? Your dad's coming up the driveway. Oh, great. Hello, Arthur. Mr. Hatch? <laughs> you, uh, eating with us again there, Darlington? <laughs> yeah, well, my parents are at the lake and my sister's a lousy cook. What's this guy supposed to do, Mr. Hatch? <laughs> Mom gone already? Yep. <sighs> Ryan's upstairs. He's asleep. He's been out for a little while, so... Uh... Hey, guys, guys. Hang on a second. You ever see what a, uh, meat mallet does to a porterhouse steak? <laughs> No. <laughs> no? What? Oh, about the same thing that a hailstone the size of a baseball does to a kid's bike. Especially a nice, shiny, new one. I'm sorry. God. <laughs> oh, this is totally hard. Are you kidding? I love storms. In California, you're lucky if it rains like once a year. You know what? This isn't an L.A. theme park, all right? Let's go. Chill out, man. I'm starting to think you don't appreciate the qualities I bring to our friendship. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Sorry. Here, let me help. You idiot. I don't need your help. <laughs> yeah. This is unbelievable. I love this weather. Hurry up. Yeah. Arthur, you've totally lost it. Yeah! Severe thunderstorm warnings for eastern Howard County. We have confirmed reports of funnel cloud sightings near Dannebrog. Stay tuned to KHAS for further updates. Better batten down the hatches out there, folks. This one could be a real gully washer. Death winds, the engines call them. 300 mile an hour winds. Drive a straw right through a telephone pole. Rip the skin right off your bones. Thanks for the play by play, Gus. Thanabrug's up north. They'll be getting the worst of it. Last year, a tornado in Texas threw a whole herd of cattle clear across to the next county. Could be clean up for a week to pull them out of the trees. Gus, we really don't need to be hearing this right now. People are trying to eat. Only one thing to do grab what needs saving and hit the road. I can be in Kansas in an hour and a half. Anybody wants to survive the night can drive with me. Most people killed by tornadoes are caught driving in their cars. Trapped, there's a terrible thought. Night like this, best place you can be is close to the basement or storm cellar. Could I have a large coffee to go, please? Surely. Kansas City Tornado Center. You heading up to Dannenbrock? No, I think I'll stay around here for a while. You don't think there's any chance of it heading our way, do you? You never know. All you can do is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Thanks for the coffee. Good night.
Hello. You're home. Good. Hey, baby. Well, there've been some tornado sightings, and I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. They've been showing bulletins on the television every every couple of minutes. Hey, Laura. Hang on a second. What's up? We got more waitresses and customers. You and me have been sprung. Honey, did you hear that? I'm coming home. Yeah, you want me to come down? I'll get Jenny to pick me up. All right. Take care of yourself, sweetie. See you later. Love you. Me too. Mwah. Sounds really, sounds really great. But can you keep it down a little bit, please? It is nighttime. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, my hands are raw anyway. You want to play Nintendo? Uh, sure, but let's get some more of that pie first. Are you always hungry? Can't play Nintendo on an empty stomach. <laughs> Having Captain Harding here in the flesh was probably the best accelerator to the completion of my work here. New games are, I mean, no, it's just... No, no. Harold Ferguson with another KHAS weather update. A tornado has been reported 14 miles northwest of Blainsworth, and the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for St. Paul, Danabrog, and rural Howard County. Persons in these vicinities are urged to take every possible precaution. Stay tuned to KHAS for immediate weather updates on this emergency situation. It's pretty intense. Yeah, Danny, why don't you go know, in the go kitchen and plug all the appliances? I know, I know, I know. Come on, right. Give him a hand, Arthur. The lightning hits the uh, hits the house, and all the appliances just blow. Cool. <laughs> Come on, mom, answer the phone, would you please? Guys, come on. I'm gonna go check on your grandmother. Your mom is coming back from work right now. Oh, listen, if things get out of hand, I want you to uh, remember to take care of you. I know the drill. Uh, just don't forget about your brother, all right? I'm not gonna forget my brother. Danny, don't forget. It's me, sweetheart. Put your dad on the phone. Oh, he just went to check on Grandma. Shoot. The phones are out at the bowling alley. I can't get in touch with your Aunt Jenny. Well, is there someone else that can... Um... Not a soul. I'm the only one... Dad? Yeah. 
Maybe I should try and make it home. No, no, you can't go out there. I mean, look at it. You can't go out there. Can you please calm down? You're freaking me out, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. What do you know about tornadoes? Huh? You're from California. What can you possibly know? Nay on my tornado report. <laughs> yeah, but you cheated. <laughs> oh, okay, look. Danabrock and St. Paul are both north of Blainsworth, right? Yeah, so? So tornadoes always move from southwest to northeast. This one can only possibly get farther away from us, not closer. It'll probably head off that way someplace. What is that? Okay, let's go. Grab that window right there. Okay, um, I want you to grab the lantern, a flashlight, and, and a blanket. I'm gonna go get Ryan. Well, could you try it again, please? I'm sorry, ma'am. All the phones are down in that area. <sighs> All right. Thank you. Guess they changed their minds, huh? Uh, uh. Stop falling. That's weird. Uh. Maybe the weather signals just got crossed or something. Yeah. It can yeah. happen. I, I read this whole book once where a, a whole fleet of ships were sent out to sea, right? And uh, uh. there were all kinds of hurricane warnings, but uh, hurricanes never came. Yeah, well, you, mister. You were going back to sleep. Here we go. Flying. Go. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do this. What's the matter? What's the matter is I can't afford the maintenance on this car. And when it gets wet, sometimes this thingamabob doesn't work. Try it again. All right. Ah! God, let's take cover inside. I knew your dad was a jock. I didn't know he was like Steve Young or something. So, uh, why didn't he make it to the pros? <sighs> he blew out his knee in spring practice in his senior year. I guess he figures because you're his son and all. You should be better at sports, huh? You ask a lot of questions, don't you? Can't find stuff out otherwise. Wow. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Getting pretty close, man. It's Twister, NEM! It's Twister! Ah! Oh man. It's don't worry, it's not you're broken. Gonna it just you're gonna wreck the whole house before the night is over. It just needs a new light bulb. Do you have one or somewhere, anywhere? Okay. There's gotta be some bulbs in here somewhere. Stop playing with that thing. I'm not. What do you mean you're not? Do 
you make up your mind? Dad, there was this guy while well, I was trying to get to Weather Channel and then, and then the whole thing just went blank. What does that thing mean? Basically, it means we're in deep trouble. Take it. Come on! 
while we're alive. Okay. What? What if we're the only ones left? It's okay. There's got to be another way out of here somehow. Like... There's a hole. Where? We have to climb. She's gonna fall right okay. in, and we gotta get out of here! Go up now! It's okay. It's okay. Hey, here. All right. Hand me here. Come on. All right, Ryan. It's all right, buddy. Let me go. Let me go. Up. Come on. Up. Up. You got him? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, man. You gotta hurry, okay? All right. Hurry. for the interruption in transmission. Five minutes ago, a twister ripped through the Capitol Heights area of Blaine. I gotta go. Uh, widespread Jackson, devastation. Settle down, honey. You know as well as I do. Jackson's got everything point, under control. I gotta get help from my boys. If you go out there, you'll get yourself killed. Jack's taking care of them. You'll be together as soon as you can. It's all right. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, it's okay. Arthur! Stacy? Me too. I'm so scared. Okay. We should get to town. They probably have an emergency center, and there's bound to be some sort of communication system, right? Right? It's so dark outside. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only two miles down the road. Let's go. What if it starts again? That's why we should hurry. I'm scared. Come on. It's okay. Come on, I'll carry you on my back. Just think. Not too long ago, me and Arthur were back at the house, and we had broken a lamp, and we were all worried about it. Huh? I'm getting fine now. You see those searchlights down there? Yeah. That's where we need to go. Here, okay? Look 
could take his car. I can't drive. I'll drive. Come on. Come on, Lord. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, Arthur. Back to you. Another baby eye. Arthur, come on, guys. Come on. seen a dead body before. None of us have, Arthur. God, let them be here. Have you seen Jack and my boys? You'll be okay, John. You'll be all right. Last time I What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Come on now. Come on. The hatchmen are tough. They'll survive. Alright? Hang in there. Thank you. Come on, you go. It's gonna be okay, alright? Grandma's house is blocked. Have you seen my dad? No, sorry. He went down the road to get my grandma. I gotta get through, all right? Yeah. You can't. There's broken gas lines all over the place. Well, he could be hurt. I mean, he could be dying. I gotta... Look, your dad's probably at the emergency center in town with your grandma now. Why don't you kids just get out of the car? We'll have someone take you into town, all right? You shouldn't be driving anyway. Come on, get out of the car. Get out of the car. What are you gonna do? Come Take on, line with you. Okay, I just don't understand. Just Look, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Come on. Right. Everything's gonna be just fine. Get out, please. No, I'm gonna stay with you all night. <sighs> Dan! Don't you dare! I mean it, Dan, come back here! Would you slow down? Look, would you stop telling me how to drive? Look, I'm not telling you how to drive. I'm just trying you to stop help. Stop screaming my ear and closing your eyes because it's not exactly helpful. Okay? Sorry. We're gonna get in trouble for going through that roadblock. Does it matter now?
Are you okay? <laughs> Mrs. Hatch, you're bleeding. I hope the animals are still alive. <laughs> Come on, get these boards off. Grab that. Okay, we're gonna pull you out. All right. Oh, All right. Thank you. Here we go. Oh. 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 Come on up, we go. Oh, right. oh kids. Oh. Oh, thank you. What are you oh. doing out there, huh? Look, it was the animals. That I was taking them out. They were so uh, scared. Listen. listen to me. What? Did you see my dad? No, I no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Um, I think she's going into shock. Hey, whoa, come on, come on, come on. Hey, listen. Come on. What? All right? Yeah. We're gonna go back to the car, okay? All okay? Right. All right. Okay, grab my hand. Yeah. All right, stay with me, okay? Oh, Here we go. Come it's on. All right. Yeah. It's okay, I got you. At least four separate tornadoes have touched down so far. Uh, no accurate injury count or damage estimate. Three are confirmed dead. Is the worst over? Uh, There's just too many meteorological anomalies here for us to make any accurate guesses. Uh, we have tracked one tornado. It's at least a five on the Fujita scale. It's anticyclonic, which is the opposite of 99.9% of your tornadoes in this hemisphere. The, the whole storm system has been moving from the northwest to the southeast, which I personally have never seen before. That is when it's moving at all. In 20 years, this area hasn't had a twister in the fall. Not like this. It's unusual. But you can't second guess Mother Nature. What can you predict? All I can say is this storm is a monster and it's not behaving in any predictable way. It's just sitting there, right over the city. At this point, your prediction's as good as mine. You had to drive in this way. I mean, it's the only road. Keep your eyes off to the side. Maybe you blew off. Yeah. Hang in there, Grandma. I knew this twister wasn't going to kill me. How? I thought it was going to kill us all. When I was a girl, we had this terrible twister. All I remember was my mama holding me so tight and screaming. And everything crashing around us all oh, was like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And then I saw an angel. And I said to her, Angel, if you come here to take me up to heaven, she just smiled. She says, oh, no, Bill. A spring's ever will bring you up to heaven. And since then, when the twisters come, I just close my eyes and see that sweet smiling face and hear those words and all fears just go away. There's Dad. Listen, if she wakes up, don't let her out because I don't want her to see him right now. All right? Yeah. Dad? Danny? Dad! Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Hey. What am I gonna do? Your mom and Ryan, they're okay, right? Ryan's okay. Mom didn't make it back. Grandma's in the back seat. She got hit over the head. She's talking weird. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. You gotta get your grandma to the hospital. You gotta help me get out from underneath this truck. Okay. Stacy? Stacy, come here. 
Okay. I'm gonna push this, all right? Okay. On the count of three, okay? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> push! Oh, Stop. 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 Bad idea. Sorry. Bad idea. Sorry. Okay, screwed up. It's okay, Danny. Come on, it's okay. It's all right. I want you to listen to me, son. You have to go get help. There's there's a roadblock down at the fort. All right, you can find some help there. Now go go get some help. It's all right. I don't need you. Come on, take it. Look, we'll be back, all right? Okay? Okay. Okay, sir. All right, Dan, out you get. My grandma needs help. Hey, guys, guys, come on, let's go. The lady needs help here. All right, we're coming. Did All you right. find your dad? Yeah, he's about a mile up the road. He's, um, he's been under his truck. We gotta, we gotta go. Is he hurt bad? He go. was talking okay, but I, I couldn't tell. Look, we gotta go. Okay, but you're going into town with your friend and grandma. No, 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 no. I'm coming with you. Please, sir. All right. All right. Come up here. All right. Grandma, Grandma, I'm gonna be back, okay? Uh, Hang in there, all right? You gonna take care of her? Yeah, you bet. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's go, let's go, help? let's go! I'm right here, all right? Okay, here we go. Everybody, come on. That's it. Come on, man. She's a good mother. She always felt guilty about working and leaving the kids. What can you do? It's the 90s and times are tough. My sister's a single mother. Three boys. I know what you mean. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do for Laura. I can take it to her house. I've got a car if it hasn't been blown out of the parking lot. <laughs> really? I shouldn't be sitting around here anyway. I'm supposed to be working. Right. You're, you're a... Meteorologist? A meteorologist, how nice. And what do you do? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm an insurance claims adjuster. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you should be thinking about a change of career. Yeah. Let the rain take the weight. Raise it a little more. Good. Good. Easy, guys, please. Push, guys, push. That's it. Danny, grab a two by four off the truck. We gotta prop this up. Come on, hurry. Keep it up there, guys. Under the frame, Dan. That's it. That's it. All right, back her down. Let's get him out of here. Ah. Okay. Oh, all right. Can you move your legs? Yeah, I can move my legs. Take it easy. Oh, oh. Yeah. My shoulder, shoulder. Easy. Easy. Okay. Up. Oh. Oh. Thank you, sir. Come on, Danny. Let's go. Nine zero eight four. What's your twenty? Uh, nine zero eight four. I'm in Capitol Heights. I'm headed to the community hall with some survivors. Over. Forget that, Calvert. We need you down here. Bring him with you. Roger. I'm sure Laura's at the community hall. That's where they're taking most people. Yeah. Well, listen, Calvert. Uh, she might still be at work. You know, she works at the Salty Dog Restaurant. It's not that far out of the way. What do you say? Laura? 
Laura! Mom! It's Aunt Jenny's car. Laura, honey! Jack! Jack, look! The yellow X. Means they've taken the survivors to one of the shelters. Which shelter? I'm not sure. Jack! They take the people who didn't make it to the morgue they set up at the community center. We're gonna find Mom. Your mom is gonna be okay, Danny. Be all right. Laura, I've got us a ride. This is Bob. Hi. You look familiar. About two hours ago, you were pouring me a cup of coffee. <sighs> of course. Yeah, let's go this way. There's a tornado coming. People, what is it? We'll get some hot chocolate for you folks. Here we go. Oh. All right. How's that feel now? That's much better. Thank you. And what if dislocated? Now, that's going to be real tender for a while, but you're going to survive. Survive better than the police station did. Thanks. Hey. What are you guys doing here? They were too busy to take us to the emergency center. Yeah, I guess if we got to be somewhere, it's a lot cooler to be at a police command post. Yeah. Is there any word of my mom? It's been so crazy around here, nobody knows anything. Grandma. They took her away in an ambulance. I don't know where she went. Yeah, that, that was really cool the way you just slammed through that barricade. I was nothing. Don't be so modest, Dan. It was very brave of you. Oh, I was encouraged. It was more, um, desperation. Right? Danny. Yes, sir? Listen, I'm going to go out and see what I can find out about your mom. I want you to stay here and watch Ryan. Well, Stacy can watch Ryan. I mean, I think I should go. Listen, I don't have time to stand here and argue with you about this. Now, I gave you an order. I want you to obey it. Period. But she's my mom. Dan, I I that is enough. <laughs> it's enough, Danny. Fine. <sighs> well, that's heading up Dan and Broadway. I think we should take the back roads, don't you? Yeah, it's a good idea, definitely. There's Belle. What, what happened? Is she gonna be all right? Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Belle! Oh, Belle. Boy, you sure took a knock in the head, huh? A knock? What do you mean? Belle, did you see Jack and the boys? I, um, I saw, I don't know. What, Bill? What did you see? Danny and Ryan, where are they? I'm afraid she's a little woozy. Please, Bill. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. No. What was it you wanted, sweetie? Okay, and it's ready to go. Absolutely. Okay. What if it's not over? What if it starts again? You're scaring her, Arthur. Give me 
California earthquake any day. I'd rather fall down into the earth than be sucked up into the sky. Well, maybe I'm scared too, but maybe talking about it makes me feel better. Well, maybe it makes me feel worse. I want my mom and dad. I can't get here right now, Mom. <laughs> when will they be here? As soon as they can. Beautiful. Thank you. Where'd you learn to play like that? My dad. Really? He doesn't seem the type. <laughs> He's not. Jack Hatch isn't my real dad. He isn't? No, I, uh... Look, you're the first person I've ever told this, but, um... My real dad... He died when I was six. See, he, he liked to fly these small planes, and one time he, um, he never came back. That's awful. Yeah. His name was Daniel. He played in a band at the University of Nebraska. He played the flute. The flute. He wasn't a quarterback. Jack was the quarterback. Jack just wants me to be an athlete, but I'm not gonna be an athlete. So to him, I'm just a big disappointment. I'm just a piece of baggage. That's why they had Ryan. You don't know that. You know, sometimes I think it'd be better if I was on that plane. Don't say that. No, it's true. I mean, I think it'd be better that I died with a father that loves me than be stuck with a father who pretends to care about me, you know? Well, do you like him? I guess so. Why? Why? God. Well, he's, um... He works hard, he's, he's good to my mom. He can be funny at times. Does he know you like him? I don't know. Well, maybe you both like each other more than you think, but neither of you know it. This is very kind of you. Thank you. Don't thank me until we get to your house. This thing may not be over yet. Yeah? I'm having trouble with your signal, Chuck. Okay? I'm starting to fake myself a little bit. Wendy. Hey, I saw Sam. He's. He's doing fine. He's helping the road crew. <laughs> Laura? No. The kid's doing okay? Yeah. About as well as you can expect. It'll do him good to sleep. Finally. Oh. Chuck, you there? Power just came back on. <laughs> Thank you.
And now the damn transmitter's out at the community okay. hall. We don't know okay. what's going on. Jack's gonna Why? try to get over there with the new one. I understand. Jack, you're sure you're here. I know. Yeah, I'm sure, Cuff. Uh, I just want to get over to the community center. Make sure Laura and Jenny are there and okay. Um, I'm sure they're fine. Can I and Danny, would you? I hope we've seen the last of these twisters. This is over, I can tell. Yeah, you're right. Worst ever, huh? Yeah. We never see anything like that again. It's hard to believe. Just a few hours ago, we were at a bike race in the middle of town. Up we go. I guess a Kiwanis pancake go. breakfast is off yeah. for tomorrow. Yeah. Nice they go ahead with the sunrise service, though. Let's well, go. we better get going. Go around by the water tower and avoid the main street. Hey, what am I driving? Great Jeep 4x4. Out back. <laughs> It's 4 a.m. About a half hour tops. Thanks, Ed. Danny, what are you doing in here? I'm coming with you. Listen, I told you to I'm stay back. I'm coming with you to look for mom. Family stick together, right? Right? I'm coming with you to look for mom. For us. At least they're alive. Come on, boys. Let's go find your mom. They're not down there. Someone coming. It's Jack. Daddy! Mom! You're alive. Mom! Daddy! Oh, my babies. Where have you been? My babies. Oh, Mister, I want to thank you. I... Who are you? My name's Bob Iverson. I'm with the Weather Analysis. There's no place around here we can really take cover. I hate to say it, but we best get the cars and make a run for it. Come on.
I'll get that truck going. Who's that in that car? I think it's the Steppens. The storm's end, some three hours after the first twister hit, half the town had been ravaged by anywhere from 10 to 15 tornadoes, leaving five dead, dozens injured, and 1,200 homeless. But starting the next day, the citizens of Blainsworth dusted themselves off, 
began the process of rebuilding. The Twisters took Dad's store, but it didn't take long for him to get back on his feet. He became coach of the high school football team and they won their first championship the very next year. He's even taken up a few new hobbies, but he's not quite as good at them. Mom's saving up to take him to France without the guitar. Ryan's a little heavier now, and he threw his first football last week. Hey, I even caught it. Arthur was elected to the student council on a platform of better food in the school cafeteria. He's still waiting for his first date. I don't spend quite as much time as I used to with him. Because Stacy and I, well, you know. Bob's got new storms to figure out, like the twins that are due next year. He and Jenny have settled down here in Blainsworth, and well, <laughs> she's never been happier. When spring came, Grandma Belle Zephyr arrived, took us all by surprise, and we miss her. We miss her a lot. That night changed everybody's lives, and I think about it quite a bit. I mean, a tornado can hit the ground for only 30 seconds, rip up your house, and leave the neighbor's place completely untouched. I just try to live so I wouldn't have any regrets if another one hit, because you just never know. And I guess that's the best way for it to be.